Hello again Year 6 and I hope that you are all alright. I hope that you also enjoyed the virtual tour that I put up onto the school website last week and that you found it very useful. Just to update you, since then I've been looking at your questionnaires, I've been reading through them uh, and as a result I've been able to start putting you in your form groups. If you haven't yet got your form back to me, it is really important that you do that as quickly as possible so that we can get the form sorted and I'd like the form tutors to be able to make contact with you before you start uh, in September. Also as part of your questionnaires, um, I've been looking at the answers that you've written down uh, and I've been going through the questions you've asked and in this video I'm going to try and answer some of those questions. Aylston School is a very friendly place and there are lots of children around that will help you if you get lost. There will also be in your first few days lots and lots of teachers around the school helping you to find your way. It won't take you that long to get used to the school so don't worry about that because as I say there are lots of people that are able to help you. Don't be frightened to ask anybody. In any situation where you might be feeling a little upset or afraid or something has happened, the first port of call is always your tutor. They are the person that you will see every day, they will know you the best and therefore they will be help, able to help you with any of your worries or concerns. So the best person to go to see is your tutor. However, you can see any member of staff and they should be able to help you initially and they will also be able to uh, direct you to the right person to talk to about your concern. We try to make sure that every, every child in the school is happy and therefore again, I would say to you, please don't worry about coming to secondary school. There is always somebody that can help. Okay, so the prices for your lunches will vary depending on what you buy but you shouldn't need any more than £3 maximum for any meal that you purchase in school. So the school doesn't have a prepaid system for lunches, which means that you will need to bring cash to school with you if you want to have a cooked meal. You can of course bring your own packed lunch to school, as many students do, but also if you have a free school meal, you will receive a card that you can hand in every lunchtime in order to get your food. Okay, so your PE kit can come in with you on the days that you need it, but there is also another question further down in my list of questions to answer that asks if you have a locker. You will have a locker and that means that you can keep your PE kit in there as well for the days that you will need your PE kit in school. Okay, so the answer to that question is no, you won't need your PE kit on the first day. Um, in general, the first day is all about you meeting your tutor and getting to know a little more about them, um, and them a little more about you. Um, it'll also be about you meeting your new friends as well as old friends from your primary school. Um, you'll be getting your timetable on the first day so that you can see what lessons you have during the week. Um, and once you've done all of that, which usually is for two or three hours, You'll then go off and do part of your timetable for the rest of the day. Um, and if that does include a PE lesson, um, you won't actually be doing physical PE. So again, you don't need to worry about bringing your PE kit. The answer to that question is yes, you will get an opportunity to have a locker. You'll be asked to bring in a deposit for the key and it is really important that you look after that key because if you're able to hand it back at the end, you will get that deposit back, so be very, very careful. The answer to that question is no. All students in Year 7 will be learning French, but there may be an opportunity later on for you to study German. Unfortunately, you can't wait in the library at the end of the day. However, we do have something called Session 6, which is where you can go to do your homework. So if you are not going home straight away, it's a great place to go to make sure you've got everything done. If you are going home at the end of the day, if you remember in the virtual tour I showed you how to get into school, you would basically reverse that walk out of school and you can wait, wait at the roundabout for your parents to collect you and then go home.
Okay, so that's all of the questions for this time that I've been given. I hope that's answered some of the concerns that you've got, but please do make sure that you send me more questions because it's really important that I'm able to answer as many as possible for you. I hope that you continue to look after yourselves over the next few weeks. I also hope to be able to speak to you again soon. I want to be able to get your form group sorted, so please make sure that you get your uh, questionnaires back to me. Um, and hopefully what I'd like to be able to do, as I've already said, is make sure that you're able to speak to your tutors before the end of this term. So it's really important. Take care of yourselves.